And there you have it. We collected all the cash from Main Street. We got it Wednesday, we got it Sunday, which is today. I'm gonna to go home, we're gonna count it all up and see what the weekly total is. G'day viewers, it's Chris Atkins here. Welcome back to my channel, The Car Wash Chronicles. Today I'm at my Main Street Car Wash and for this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much revenue it brought in for one week. Today is Wednesday, I last counted on Sunday. So today's would be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I'm here Wednesday morning. So pretty much three days worth of income. And the reason I count twice a week is because I actually run out of tokens in the machine. So I have to come here Wednesday and then replenish the tokens, take them from the safes out of the bay and put them back in the hoppers. And that way it'll get me through till Sunday, the next count day. That's enough of me talking, let's go get the coins from the safes and count them up. And now it's time to count all the tokens and the quarters. The machine's gonna separate it, so I'll show you how it does that. And basically this is the bucket for three days. That does it for today. The tokens for this count is 1,281. Not that I count the tokens in the total because I count the cash instead. So I put the cash and the quarters together and then we add it with Sunday's count and that'll give the total week. So that'll do for today, Wednesday. I'm gonna film again on Sunday the count and let's add it all together and check it all out for the week. So the cash that you just saw me get out of the bill changes, that was three days worth. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today's Wednesday morning. So I haven't really had much business today so far. So three days worth, and it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks like another standard week. Should be a good count. G'day viewers, it's Chris Atkins. Today is now Sunday, yes, four days after I shot the last footage that you just watched. Don't be fooled by the haircut. I did get a haircut, of course. I hope it looks good. I don't know about that, but we'll see. But today I'm gonna collect the cash again from my Main Street car wash. I collected it on Wednesday, so we're just gonna add the cash that we got on Wednesday to today to get the full week count. That way you guys can get a rough idea on what self-serve car washes make. So if you're interested in going out to find one yourself and potentially buying one yourself, then you can kind of get a rough idea on how they do. Obviously it depends on what state you're in, 
what area you're in, whether it's a back road or a main street, because location does play a big part on how much revenue car washes bring in and um, how well you run it, whether you run it well, if um, you stay on top of things, if there's a leak, you gotta fix it straight away and keep the customers happy because there's nothing worse for a customer than they pull in the bay, they put money in and they lose the money from either a coin jam or they put money in the bill changer and they get nothing in return. If that just goes on for weeks and weeks, then obviously customers will not come back because I think you only have one or two shots to prove to the customer that you're a great business and for them to trust you. So after the first or second time, depending on the person, then they're probably never gonna come back. And just keep the car wash running the best you can because there's others out there that are running it the best that they can and you don't wanna fall behind. You wanna stay on top and you want people to drive past other car washes to come to yours because it's much better. So that's the goal, that's the plan. But anyway, today we're gonna find out what we did for the week. I think it was a great weather week. So all seven days was, I think, between 95 and 100 and sunny. So it's pretty hot, but that's the high desert of California for you. Hopefully this weather stays like this till December before it starts cooling down and we get into the winter months. And then we'll just cruise on through winter, do some renovations, because that's a good time to do renovations and just get it ready for next summer with the automatics for another great year of car wash income. So we'll see you guys at my Main Street Car Wash.
we collected all the cash from Main Street. We got it Wednesday, we got it Sunday, which is today. I'm gonna to go home, we're gonna count it all up and see what the weekly total is. G'day viewers, I wasn't gonna reveal it in this video, but I'm way too excited not to, so there it is. I have a Car Wash Chronicles office. So welcome to the office. From here on out, I'm gonna do a lot of Q and A's with the beautiful sign in the background, with the lovely plant and the desk. So um, it's a little more appealing than what I had last time, which was basically nothing. But here it is, the big reveal. Don't have to wait till next video. We're seeing it right now. So let's count. Basically, we're gonna count this. This cash is all from one week, yes, seven days. And we're gonna add that to the quarters. So we're gonna combine it all and see exactly what it did. Like always, I don't count the tokens because this is essentially the tokens right there. So. So there you have it, we've counted all the cash. We ended up with 1,247 in singles, 1,410 in fives, 380 in tens, and 240 in twenties, which is a total of $3,272 just in the cash. And then the quarters we counted at the car wash was $895.25. So the quarters added up with the cash is a total of $4,172.25 for seven days. That's it for this video. Don't forget like and subscribe and comment. Comment questions that you want to ask me and in the next Q&A, we will go over them. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching again. Chris Atkins with the Car Wash Chronicles. See you next video.